2021 Audi A6 Quattro. Of course, we're going to go over exactly what you're seeing there, which is the front headlamps, LED, high intensity headlamps from Audi. We're going to jump inside. I'm going to show you exactly how those work in action with the high beam assist. Of course, every car now will have automatic lighting. So that's no biggie, nothing to go over there. You put it in um, automatic lighting mode and it comes on and off when the vehicle or when the vehicle notates that it's night or day outside, a vehicle will turn on and off. So we're gonna jump in and I'm gonna show you how effective those high beams are. So we're talking about automatic high beams, but I just want to bring you a shot of the interior of the dash. Now, it is dark, yes. That's because we're working in the dark. We're going to be working with the automatic high beams. And of course, as long as you're behind here, or if you're behind the steering wheel, that's all you need. Take the seat in position. Off to the left, you can see to the left there, two little lights right over here. Those are uh, two lit areas. The one on the left side is going to be for your automatic lighting, turning on and off your lighting and your park lamps. The one on the right side is going to be for your fog lamps. Of course, you can press that to turn on and off your fog lamps, and it's going to give you feedback behind the wheel, such as this. I'm just going to hover my hand right over that button. There you go. Shows your lights are on, your lights are off. Hover my hand over the other side, and of course, you just turn those on. No feedback there. So the two buttons that I'm referring to off to the left side of the steering wheel are these. The auto parking lamps, and then of course you have your lights, which is the button on the left. If you look at the right, that's going to be your fog lamps for the front. Now the button to the far right, the car that I had, for some reason, did not have the rear fog lamp button on the panel, but it did have the two on the left. The two that I'm referring to there again during the video, you cannot see much of my finger, you cannot see much of these buttons because it's very small, although you can zoom in, but it's going to be the one on the left, which is going to be auto, parking lamps, and of course the light, and then the one on the right as well, which is going to be your fog lamps. Um, off to the left here, just going to press the light button. And it automatically goes to automatic. You can see where it's automatic behind the wheel. You can also see where it's lit in green over here on the light switch or light button. That's showing you your high beams are automatic. And of course, your lights are automatic as well. Now, how else can you see that? If you look right down to the bottom section here, you can see where automatic high beams are on. That's the lights with the auto. And you can see where the light is lit in green. That is simply showing you your lights are now automatic as well. So I'm gonna zoom back out. I'm gonna press the button here. And when I press once, that takes me to turning my lights on automatic with no high beam assist. I'm gonna press again, that's my park lamps. And if I press one more time, that turns the lights off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press here. So that puts them in high beam assist and that make, makes my lights automatic. If I press the fog lamp area, you can see there, all weather lights are on. I shouldn't say fog lamps, of course. Audi calls them all weather lamps, and I can press again, that turns them off. So with the high beam assist, that's going to be our view as we're driving along, and we're going to go ahead and take off. I'm going to show you exactly what that does and how accurate it is. So as we continue our route here, you can see where there's lights all around me. So we're going to go in. Of course, I thought it should have went to high beam mode there, but it didn't. So we're going to turn out now. Of course, you can tell lights or car, cars are coming toward us. So you're not going to get any high beam effect there. But what I will do is, so in, for instance here, So you can see the truck ahead, no high beams. All right, so we're gonna keep right on rolling. You can see where it did flip there. And one good measure you can tell uh, when it's high beam or whatever is by the sign. You can see where it actually brightens the sign. Because There we go. Now, see how that's high beam? We're rolling up on a lighting. We've got a car in front of us. 
it should have been low beam way back there. So where it's not accurate, but it does give you optimum lighting, I guess, if you're driving at night, but we just blinded that guy. So that's something from a safety standpoint for you and everybody around you that shouldn't take place, but it did. Now we're high beam. So we're just gonna continue to go along. So I would think it would dim automatically. You don't brighten the people. So there was a little bit of a late dim. Um, it takes a second to kick in, but particularly on the road that I'm driving on now, you may not want to use it because the car turning out there to the left, it completely blind him. It blind the cars coming this way for a brief moment. Um, is not as fast as it should be from a safety standpoint for everybody around, but it's automatic high beam assist. So we're just gonna keep rolling and I'm gonna show you exactly what this look like, looks like and how it operates. There we go, you saw that. Um, and it should flip as soon as the car pass. There we go, so you could see it there. We're gonna go down the side road. Of course, it did pick that car up very well. Of course, the little side road here. So this is the high beams from Audi. You can see how effortlessly it maneuvers, dim to bright, and then you can see the reaction time as well. So hopefully you have enjoyed this. This is a shorter, of course, not much to show you. It's just dimming and brightening uh, from a standpoint, but just to show you my point on where it does lag a bit but this is the Audi A6 and bringing you what the high beam assist looks like.